Okay, everybody, welcome back to the Supplement Review. Now, this is the Lord of the Pumps tournament draw. It's to determine which pump products are gonna face each other in each of the elimination matches. They're gonna be selected at random. Each one of these bits of paper has one of the products written on. We're gonna jumble them up, and then we're gonna pick, like you would for a football tournament, which matches are gonna go down. So, match number one is gonna be Nuclear Pump versus Vasomax. Okay, so round one, product number one goes to the testers is Nuclear Pump, and product number two is Vasomax. Both interesting products, some similarities between the formula, both got 300 milligrams of Vaso 6, both got l norvaline slightly more in the Nuclear Pump product, and uh, both got three grams of Glissa Pump as well. However, Nuclear Pump is absolutely stacked, and I'm kind of expecting it to trounce Vasomax. Vasomax isn't a poor product by any means, but there's just so much more going on in Peak Performance Lab's Nuclear Pump. Now we're going to have a quick look at the formulas to see why I think Nuclear Pump's going to head out on top and then we're going to go to our public testers who blind tested both of these products and voted for the winner. Now Nuclear Pump is one of the most impressive products of last year in my opinion. It's got four patented ingredients, Alpha Size, Nitrocyne, Vaso6 and Glissa Pump. All of those are in at good doses. I'm going to run through the panel really quickly. You've got 8 grams of L-citrulline, that's pure L-citrulline, not citrulline malate, on its own. That would be enough almost to carry a pump product. But you've also then got three grams, uh, three grams of glissa pump. On top of that, 1.5 grams of nitrocyne, alpha size at 600 milligrams, vaso 6 at 300 milligrams, and 250 milligrams of l norvaline which is an arginase inhibitor. I find in a lot of the most popular uh, pump products on the market at the moment. It's stacked. There's no other way to describe this. This was one of the standout products of last year to me. So I'm expecting big things from it. Now, Vasomax is no slouch. It is a small serving, it's 5.7 grams, but it does contain three grams of Glissa Pump, 300 milligrams of Vaso 6, 125 milligrams of L-Norvaline, so about half of that in Nuclear Pump. And you've also got an ingredient called Ryota Pump, which is one, if I'm honest, I'm not particularly familiar with. And then you've got a stack of nootropics in there as well. So 300 uh, milligrams of Alpha GPC versus the full dose of three grams of L-Tyrosine that's contained in Peak Performance Lab's Nuclear Pump. So I'm expecting people to get way better results from Nuclear Pump. That's the one that's marked number one. So when our testers are talking about product number one, that's going to be Nuclear Pump. When they're talking about product number two, that's going to be Vasomax. So yeah, let's see how they voted. Round one, fight! Uh, our product one and two to test. Product one first, it's got a very sort of synthetic-y, silky texture to it, but it didn't actually taste much apart from just sweet. It mixed really well. Very easy to drink. I got I got a bit of a pump both times. The first time I took it, I actually felt a bit sick during the workout. Product number two. It was kind of like a sweet, dry flavor. I've had a lot worse. The way it mixed, it mixed, there was no bits in it, but there was quite a big head on it. Quite a lot of bubbles left over in the shaker after you'd finished. I enjoyed the workout, got a good pump from it. Yeah, did the same workout as, as product one. And overall, my vote goes to product number two, just because it gave me a better pump. I didn't feel a little bit sick one time when I took it, like I did with product one. So there we go. What he mentioned is if you take a stim free with it, take the same stim free, the same dosage every time. So I chose to go with Steve Max Pro. Now I started off with taking sample one on both a pull and a push session. First thoughts of sample one, the mixability was great. The flavor was very sour, but it was still quite nice, very strong. However, on the way to the gym, you instantly felt the pump. Um, you didn't even have to get into the gym, felt pump, felt bigger. Push session, my biceps were sore. Pull session, my shoulders felt like they were about to explode. My back was huge. So overall, I'd score it quite highly, I'd say about 9 out of 10 maybe. Now I've gone on to sample 2. Again, one scoop of Steam Max Black on a pull and a push session. Mixability was, wasn't great really. Um, shook it for a good minute or so. There was always bits at the bottom, it always foamed up. Taste was quite vile. It's one that you really could not finish, in my opinion. And there was just no effect, really. I didn't feel any effect, whereas with sample one, I felt pumped before I got to the gym. So if I had to choose, I'd go with sample one due to the um, potency of the formula and just the mixability. So I did two strength sessions and then two endurance sessions, I suppose you could say. With regards to the strength, one definitely did have an impact. In terms of pump factor, legs were quite happy, it felt juicy, glutes felt on fire, felt juicy as well, juicy glutes, nice. Um, so I did pyramid sets and back off sets of bench, chest was booming, um, triceps were huge, um, delts felt good as well. Then compared to number two in particular with the strength session, 
didn't really get that. It's nice to have something to taste with water because I've not really used an awful lot of pretty recently or even like energy drinks or anything like that. That was about it. Didn't really get an awful lot else, even with the endurance session as well. So one really excelled. Um, and then when mixing number two, I felt that there was a slightly granular and powdery aftertaste in my mouth. So it didn't mix as well as one. For me, the big things were mixability and flavour. So for me, I like to have quite a tangy um, product. In terms of kind of the overall general score, really, one takes it by a considerable way. At this point, Formula 2 was actually really, really strong. Um, pump, it didn't actually last that long. And I prefer the pump that, that, that may be a bit weaker, but lasts longer. And I feel that Pump Formula 1 uh, did that for me. So my choice for the Lord of the Pumps competition, um, I think we'd have to go to Pump Formula 1. Uh, Lord of the Pumps, I had the pleasure of the first two samples. Uh, great mixability, slightly chalky flavour, but I didn't think that's unusual for a pump product. I wasn't blown away by the flavour, but I'm guessing it had the word Raz in it, something like that, kind of lemony, limey. I trained chest, so I definitely felt fuller even after the first exercise. Um, halfway through, definite noticeable effects there. I did actually start to feel like um, it actually had some stims in it as well. Uh, maybe some nootropics, but that could be uh, the tingling from maybe some better alanine, um, but I was really enjoying it. Um, visible pumps after the third or fourth set, definitely could visibly see it. I even had a couple of comments off blokes I was training with and um, felt pumped for um, a good few hours afterwards. I was really impressed, really interested to find out what it is because I'd definitely uh, be wanting to buy this in the future. Sample two, it made me feel a little bit fuller, but wasn't blown away at all and without doubt pump one wins this round without shadow of a doubt um you can take my money already i can't wait to find out what it is you win